Welcome and welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and yes, today we have to talk about a serious subject, and that is Galadon leaving the level 16 tribe gaming clan, along with well, most of the clan. And let's just say, this is not brand new news. Obviously, this has been happening over the last couple of weeks, but I wanted to make an episode talking about a little bit about what this means because I feel like a lot of people don't understand what's happening. The rumor was Tribe Gaming quit, or they disbanded, or they fell apart. And here's the thing. Tribe Gaming is a clan, but Tribe Gaming is also an esports organization owned by none other than the Sun CEO, Chief Pat. Okay, so he's got this esports organization, and they play in many different games. They pay, they salary players under an agreement to play under the Tribe Gaming name. So, what that means is, technically, Tribe Gaming continues on, it forges ahead, but with different members. And I'm hoping to be a part of that in the near future, but in the meantime, let me go ahead and show you where I've headed over with my main account and my Galadon 13.0 account as well. We're over in Use Code Galadon. So yes, I know, it's an absolutely shameless self-plug clan and, well, okay. So I did also offer Elder to anybody that made a use code Galadon base, but okay. So this is what I'm doing for now, okay? And I probably will leave my Galadon 13.0 base over here uh, because we're, we're going forward with this clan. This is going to be for serious players who want to stick around long-term and do war attacks and get better at Clash. Use code Galadon is going to be a thing, and I will be encouraging new players to join who want to be part of the team. And of course, we will be forced to remove players that violate our rules or don't attack in war. So look for the clan to have some open spots and perhaps, I don't know, maybe other players will be out there making use code Galadon clans with use code Galadon bases. And if they do, I might have to stop by and enter random gift card codes into their chat. But okay, so let's go ahead and get some war attack replays going. And let me talk a little bit about the future of Tribe Gaming, okay? Because obviously I haven't addressed that. And here's the thing, like I said earlier, Tribe Gaming is not a clan, they are an organization. So what you can fully expect is to see Tribe Gaming reform possibly somewhere else. And what I mean is, if you recall, remember Tribe Gaming the clan, it changed its name. It was in fact, the first ever clan in the history of Clash of Clans to receive a name change because of an esports organization buyout. Now, since then, many other organizations have done the same thing. We've seen Nova, MCES, uh, Team Queso as well, and those are esports teams that are also clans. But now that Tribe Gaming has kind of, well, moved on, what I would expect to see is that this clan, the original Tribe Gaming clan that I just left at the beginning of the episode, will likely be renamed back to what it was before, which was Dark Looters. Remember, they were Dark Looters. And the Tribe Gaming name will end up dropping onto another clan somewhere else where maybe they sign a bunch of players from a specific clan. I actually don't know for sure. I'm just kind of guessing what could happen. But remember, it's the only legitimate legal way to get your clan name changed in Clash of Clans, okay? So don't ask. It's not going to happen unless your clan is bought out, signed, contracted, paid by a professional esports organization. And no, I don't mean John's esports. And yes, I'm paying all my players a dollar a week each or a dollar a month. That doesn't count. Obviously, look at the history, at the organization, at the size of places like Nova, MCES, Tribe, and Queso. They're huge. They're massive. It's not an easy thing to do. So, you know, you might be thinking, oh, I want to trick the system. I'll say I have an esports organization just so I can get a clan renamed. I wish. I mean, trust me, there's some clans that I would like to rename as well, but they haven't made any exceptions other than for the esports organization reason as of right now. So, yes, I would anticipate that what we'll see is Tribe Gaming reforming somewhere else. And when it does, I will take my main account and head back over there, hopefully, if, you know, if Pat's okay with that. Uh, we'll head over there and we'll be a guest in their clan. We'll check out Tribe Gaming, watch some of the amazing replays and attacks and see how it goes as far as base building and 
they're going to compete. They're going to be back for the 2020 Clash of Clans World Championships because if you didn't know, it, I believe, has already been officially announced that they will be doing it again. I think, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, isn't it a million dollars again in 2020? So we'll probably see all of the same or similar ways to qualify through those uh, in-game tournaments, through CWL. All those things should be happening over the next several months, especially once we get into 2020. So look for that and look for players to be competing for hundreds of thousands of dollars again. And that's the thing about these esports organizations. Look at the eight teams that qualified last year or this year, 2019. It's not 2020 yet. Okay, out of those eight, I know for sure that five of them were esports organizations. And if you take a look at the paychecks they took home, that is a lot of money. But again, those paychecks didn't go to the clan. Those paychecks went to the esports organization. And uh, those esports organizations may have different agreements as to how they handle that money. And what I mean is the players may only get a portion of it because it goes to the organization first. It's not the clan technically competing when it's owned by an esports organization. So it might be divided amongst all of the players in the clan. All 50 members get a share. I honestly have no idea. I don't know. I don't want to know because I do not compete on that level. I will never be world class. And we all, we, we all know that. We all realize that. But maybe you will be. Maybe you can be. And of course, you just got to keep your ear to the ground, social media and whatnot. Follow the official accounts on Twitter for those esports teams. You never know when they might be recruiting a new player. I think just trying to apply to the clan itself is probably not the best way to get accepted to show that you're a serious player. You need to apply through social media, through their official outlets. A lot of them have email addresses or player ambassadors or managers, and uh, I don't have all of that information here, but certainly that's the best way to handle it. So that is pretty much the story of Tribe Gaming as of right now. Where they are going to reform, I don't know yet, so I'm hanging out over in use code Galadon, and I gotta say, did you see the war score? Have you seen some of these war replays? We're doing okay, all right? I got Tom, I've got Shauna from my Facebook streams there helping to co-lead the clan right now. Uh, we probably lose Tom to his regular clan again, but that's okay. We'll get new management, we'll get other co-leaders in there, and yes, I am handing out free Elder to anybody that makes a use code Galadon base, so I don't know. Hey, remember, come on, people used to offer free Elder in Global, so I'm just offering free Elder for use code Galadon, that's all. We'll see. All right, so let's show one more replay and talk a little bit more about what's going on. Actually, I don't know if I have that much else to talk about at this point, come to think of it. I covered about Tribe, I covered about the World Championships, covered about the World Championships in 2020, covered about the clan use code Galadon. I really don't have anything else to say. But okay, now I would feel bad if I don't show the rest of Shauna's attack. All right, so let's check out this attack because hey, I don't have all Town Hall 13s in this clan. Did you notice the bases? I've got eights, nines, tens. I got Town Halls from all different levels. I even put in my Galadon free to play account in there, although uh, he's not had any success at Town Hall 5 getting any war stars in this first war. But we're going to be doing 50 versus 50 wars back to back to back to back to back because we need perks right it hurts man that's one of the awful things about being a brand new clan is to have none of those perks the levels the extra troops the extra storage all that good stuff uh it's kind of sad and i do miss tribe gaming for the players for the camaraderie for the high level attacks but i also miss them for their clan perks and that's another reason that i would anticipate you will always see these esports organizations absorb higher level clans and not start a new clan because that would be a bummer for a bunch of high level players to be starting a new clan and not have those perks i mean especially just the reduction of time between requests for um the clan castle reinforcements that feels like that's one of the most important ones otherwise these players are playing maxed out troops so the level doesn't really matter that much maybe the additional donation space will help that players can donate more troops to a single request but anyway, so this is Shauna's attack, AKA Angelic One. And yes, okay, so I, uh, I'm always honest with you guys. I did this half because I wanted to show her attack and half because we have to have a 10 minute video, right? Because we can't have nine minute, 45 second videos. That just doesn't make sense. No, we gotta pay the gala bills. Gotta pay for the gala computer. Gotta pay for the gala dog and all that good stuff. But hey, if you wanna know more about that, about my life and stuff, 
you guys have to come by a Facebook stream, fb.gg slash realgaladongaming. That is where I got most of my members for the use code Galadon Clan in the first place. And that is where you can talk to me any day of the week, 7 p.m. Pacific. And I do my best to answer every single comment that comes across the screen. In the meantime, thank you guys. You made it. You survived all the way to the end of the episode. Now get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Go and join your clan and make the use code Peter seventeen dollars base. Peter, there is no code Peter seventeen dollars. What? I'm, That's not right. I'm sorry, buddy. Galadon. Sorry.